I have a drive. I have an Apple. Uh, two terabyte M4. It doesn't really rhyme. Oh well, let's go. Hello, I'm Greg Rocky of Rocky Mods. Welcome to today's episode where we are going to be continuing to upgrade my M4 Mac Mini. As you can see up in these play this playlist up here, I have decided to, to just try to max this thing out and add every feature that Apple lacked to actually add, including this dock, which is quite nice. Um, so, yeah. But anyway, today we've got this 2 terabyte drive we're going to be installing, and... Um, it's going to be interesting because I haven't done any research on it. I just know this drive should work. It's also from a shady website that I'm not really sure if I trust. And uh, the drive's actually from a different company from the company I bought it from. Uh, anyone ever heard of TechnoJoy? I hope it works. Let's find out. All right, it's time to wing this and uh, try to figure out how this all works. This is what came in the box here. And that's how it came. Um, it comes with its own tools, which is handy, but um, I don't think they're going to help. Uh, and it comes with the drive, which looks a lot like a real Apple drive, except it says Deep Sea Technology on it, which is also a third different brand name. Uh, okay, so... Uh, <laughs> I hope this drive works, so we'll, uh, yeah, let's start taking this Mac Mini apart. I've got this U-Green dock on it right now. We'll unplug it like so. And there's the Mac Mini. Flip it over and start learning how to take it apart. Um, just like in the tutorial, it says use a pick. Um... But also says use a metal spudger, which I don't have anywhere here. Um, hmm. I'll be right back. All right, we got the right tool this time. Says to stick it in between. I already don't like this. Okay. You stick it in between. And you stick the, the pick in somewhere. Huh. Um, uh, these picks suck. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. There we go. Okay, now it says to move it around and don't stick it into the power cable. Okay, now I understand. Uh-huh. That worked. All right. Now we got that open. It says take the power button off. I'm not. I'm not doing that. I don't think you have to. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. That's off. T5 Torx. Let's use the tools that came with it. Well, actually, that's. A really, really awful screwdriver. Uh, oh well. Comes with a bunch of bits though. That's cool. We need a T5. And they're all the same. Doesn't make me nervous at all. Nope, not not in the slightest. Well, it's actually a lot easier than saying on I fix it. All right. And now we can see all the dust from this thing folding. 
Um, it's been folding for like two weeks now, and uh, it's actually a pretty competent folder. This thing's not magnetic at all. Yeah, that is. Boy, did they supply good tools. All right. It says reposition the fan. Disconnect the fan. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's not worry about disconnecting the fan. No, I'm not doing that. Let's swap the drive out. <laughs> Oh uh, boy. Alright, um, hmm, hmm. It's making me a little nervous. Nope. Oh. Does this pull straight out? Yes, it does. All right. There's the 256 drive versus the new drive. And yay. Let's see what happens. Okay. We got that drive in. All right, you guys watch me take it apart. I'm going to put it back together without breaking anything, hopefully. And we'll be right back. Eh. All right, we got her back together. Here's the old drive that I have nothing that I can use it for now except keep it for maybe warranty purposes. I, I don't really know what I can do with that. So we'll put that back in the holder here. And just, uh, yeah. So um, next step, we've got to flash it because there's nothing on it right now and it won't run. Best way to do that is to use a supported Mac. Um, they say Apple Silicon is what you really need, um, but um, from what I read, you can use any Mac that's running a modern OS. So even if it was an open core system, it would do it as long as you've got a USB-C cable. Uh, it should in theory work. But we're going to use Apple Silicon because it's just the easiest. So we're going to pull out my M1 Macs and um, Finish this up, try to get it to flash. All right, they say to open up Apple Configurator, have your Mac Mini here, hold in this for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep holding it in while you plug it in. Now it's in DFU mode. And now, we plug it into the center port. Open anyway. Thank you. Okay, it's in DFU. Um, now what? Recovery? Cool. Okay. Uh... How do you restore it? <laughs> I should have probably done some more research on this. Um, hmm. Prepare? Cool. Yeah. Update. Okay. That doesn't work either. How do you restore it? <laughs> yeah, I'll be right back. I missed a step. I need to download the IPSW to restore it. That's why it's not working. Yay. And now the Wi-Fi doesn't work. Yippee! 
Okay, so the tutorial I'm reading online right now says do not use the restore option right here to download the latest version because it may corrupt something. But it's also the most recent version, and I want to see what happens because what's the chance it will corrupt something? Restore. Restore. My backup, of course, is the most recent version anyway, and it's telling me to install 15.4. I want to run 15.5. So um, we're downloading it in the background and also right here, and uh, we'll see if that restores this or not. Uh, <laughs> well, I stopped the other download because it was bogging everything down, and um, I understand about the network hiccups because I'm watching the connection go up and down, up and down, up and down. So this may or may not work. We're about a third of the way there, um, just downloading. So, yeah, this will take a while. Let's get on the hype train. It's uh, getting pretty darn close, and I'm getting really excited and a little worried still, but um, we'll see what happens. Now we're unzipping. Cool. And now we are installing, which, um, well, we'll see what happens. Just got to let it sit here and keep the system from going to sleep because I forgot to bring the charger. Yeah. It's on now, but it says installing, so I don't know if it's still restoring or not. It's definitely kicked out of DFU, so hopefully this is just going to work. I've been sitting here a while, and it's still not seeming to do anything. It says this will take a long time, but um, wow, this is taking a long time. It's getting further, so I think it's going to work, but uh, boy, I'm really getting bored. You can't make this stuff up. I found a MagSafe cable, and now I'm charging the M1 Max with the Mac Mini that it's restoring right now. And it actually seems to be working, so that's cool. The system just bonged, which um, might be a good sign. Uh, I think it's rebooting. It's not saying anything on there, but uh, we'll see. I think it restored. It's on lock now, whatever that means. Yeah, it's booted. We're good. Let's plug it into the uh, monitor and uh, see what happened. All right, here's the first boot up. I've got a complete backup on this drive that's in this dock here. So we should just be able to automatically restore it. That's a good sign. Please work, please work, please work. Please work, please work, please work. Hey, it's working. And she's restoring from there to there. So we'll come back when it's finally done. 230. We hit 250 a second ago. My dog won't leave me alone. But yeah, we're moving along really, really fast. I've never seen a restore go that fast before. That took a solid two minutes to restore. Well, it's apparently kept my fan control settings because the fan's just maxed out. And we are back in business here. We're up and running. Now, uh, before we go any further about this, let's go to uh, system information here and go to NVMN Express, two terabytes. Awesome. How about that? So now, the original speed test here was this. Let's see what happens when we run a new speed test here. It's definitely snappier, so let's hit start here. It's faster. It's still a little slower than I was expecting, but it's definitely, um, you know, a thousand faster uh, on the right, so that's, that's, that's pretty cool. I'd say that's a success, and I'm very happy with that. So, awesome. 
And there's our end result there. It is much faster. Um, read's still a little slow, but I mean, it's still faster than it was originally. And this was a successful upgrade. So let's wrap up the video. Welcome back to Mac Dog. Hi, sweetheart. She loves Macs. Or she just loves being around me. I'm not really sure which. But yeah, that's the end of today's video. Uh, this was a successful upgrade, and I'm very happy with the end results. It, uh, it's, it's significantly faster. I'll have, I have more storage now. Um, I'm actually thinking of getting a bigger NVMe for the bottom. And um, the sound's apparently on on it, which I disabled. Fine. But yeah, um, everything worked out perfectly. And I'm very happy with the end result. It's really not that hard once you figure out how to do it, which I probably should have searched that up first. Oh well. But yeah, that's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I've got a little powerhouse now that I can do editing on or whatever I want to with it. And um, I'm actually considering turning it into a home server. And that's why I'm thinking of upgrading the NVMe to a bigger storage so I can have a server storage on the bottom of that dock there. And I think that would be pretty neat. So um, this isn't the last video for the Mac Mini M4, probably. Um, who knows when the next one's going to be. But right now, the project is done for now, and I'm very happy with the end results. And uh, yeah, uh, don't forget, guys, I have a Patreon and awesome memberships. You know how to join all that. Uh, please like and subscribe. And that's the end of today's video. This has been a Rock and Mods video. Ooh. Oh, shit. Don't step on that. Don't step on this either. Ah, oh, thank you. Okay. Yep, yep, I didn't need that eye. <sighs> ah! Chair's a little broken, I think. <sighs> yeah, I love you too.